Coach, if you want to start with a brief opening statement. Um, I thought it was a good win. Uh, I thought our kids played well. Uh, in the first half, I thought we were we were a little bit rushed. I thought we missed some uh, opportunities that we could have capitalized on. I think our, our post players, uh, if you look at uh, Lady Okafor, uncharacteristically, was one for eight. Uh, you know, normally she's making a lot of those shots, which really opens up a lot of things for us. Uh, Toy Jiggis really couldn't get going, but I thought Precious did a fantastic job uh, keeping us afloat. Jasmine Guathme had some really good minutes and gave us some scoring opportunities. Uh, which really, you know, we had a, we had a good lead, but I thought we came out in the second half, and I thought we were fantastic. More of the the caliber of play uh, we were expecting, uh, and the Precious again did a really good job. I thought their game plan was probably to to really face guard her and take her out of some of uh, some of the offensive sets that we were trying to run, and she did a great job. We've been working on that, you know, of keeping her poise and still handling it, and getting her shots where she wanted to get them. Uh, and then we had a lot of people who contributed in the second half. Muff Mickens has been, you know, the bus driver of our team the whole year. Did a fantastic job, uh, and we have production, you know, again from Toya Jiggins inside. Uh, Haley Barron came in, hit some threes, knocked it open. Ashley Perez came in, knocked down some threes. So collective effort, you know, which we've been getting, you know, uh, all year long. Uh, kids are really understanding their roles, and uh, I thought we played well. You, you know, you guys have have, you know, been atop the league standings, you know, you know, basically your your whole career. What makes this team? Um, so special and so uh, dominant. You know, I can't say anything because she's right here beside me, so I don't want to let them know how special they are. But uh, uh, they, they, they are special. They, they really are. And uh, you know, it, it all started last year when we started preseason or postseason workouts. You know, we were twenty nine and six. Everyone said that you know you're losing the player of the year and Kirby Burkholder, the defensive player of the year and Nikki Newman. You know, you guys are going to drop off. And I think they really took that to heart. You know, they heard the whispers and they worked extremely hard all, all postseason, all you know, summer leading in the preseason, and I uh, wish prepared them for this opportunity right now. You know, you look at Lady Okafor, she's a different player. Uh, Precious, Precious could have been a more dominant player last year, but she really was buying into our system. You know, and, and Kirby Burkholder is running around and was the preseason player of the year. Precious could have been every bit of what she is right now, but she really sacrificed a lot for the team. Uh, we've had so many people step up into to more prominent roles and handled them extremely well. Look at Muff Mickens, you know, now she's on the Nancy Lieberman watch list because now she's getting an opportunity. So. I don't think we have a whole lot of weaknesses. You know, we, we get scoring from a lot of different areas. We get uh, bench production. Uh, if one of the kids, you know, Lady Okafor didn't have a good night tonight, but, you know, we still stepped up and people contributed in her absence. So we, we are a special team. We, you know, we do a lot of good things, uh, and, and they're fun to coach. And they go out and they play well, and they play for each other. You know, you look at our, our group, and Precious probably could have had 40 tonight. You know, play, she played, you know, didn't play the last nine minutes. Um, but nobody took over 13 shots. You know, it's just a balanced group, and uh, they understand that, and they just want to win. Um, Precious, we saw you scoring, you know, a lot of different ways tonight. You know, you, you go down on the post and score. You can hit threes. Um, you know, just talk about your versatility and, um, you know, how much you have, you know, developed over these last couple of years. I'm just working on different um, components in my game. Of course, I know that <clears throat> people are really categorizing me as a shooter, and, of course, working on different parts of my game. I know sometimes when I go shoot with Coach, he's teaching me post moves and teaching me my pull-up jump shot and still getting to the line and shoot my free throws as well because I know that when someone cuts off one thing, like they're cutting off my three-point shot, I have something else to go to, like posting up or pulling up with my jump shot, either getting to the free throw line and helping my team out. Have you guys started talking about, I know last year you had the one league loss, and I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you have had a – an undefeated season in league play. Have you guys started talking about that, um, you know, at all, or is that is that a goal or anything now? Not really. You asked me what you know. A lot of things what makes this team special. One of them is they take really take it one game at a time. You know, I, I think we they know we play Hofstra on uh, on Sunday, but I guarantee you they don't know who we play after that. You know, it's because we, we we take them one game at a time. They really do to look to look forward to try to go undefeated. Yeah, we want to go undefeated, but we worry about the next game. Know, we worry about the next game. We're not worried about a big picture winning a championship by going undefeated. We just want to win every game. And if we can't, if we handle that, then everything else will come. But uh, th this is one of the most focused groups that I've had, uh, and just understanding the next task at hand. Precious, you guys took care of the ball. Only seven turnovers, forced 25. I think it was 29 nothing uh, points off turnovers. Um, you know, you guys were always, you know, pretty good with, the, you know, taking care of the ball. Just talk about that and how much. How important that is to you know not let a team like UNCW get out and and fast break, which is what they want to do. Um, I think that's another thing we said with um, focus group. That was kind of one of our like basically coming into the game is focus and um, focusing and keeping the ball and having good possessions and also stopping them on the defense end because 
what he says all the time is if we're not having, we're not getting defensive stops, we can't have fun on offense. And I think that's what we really want to do is stop, have defensive stops so we can get our offense and play. Did you guys have a have a plan of attack for Calva? I know she, you know, she entered the game as a second leading scorer. Uh, I mean, you guys hold her to four. Yeah, I mean, she's a good play. She is a good play. Um, still, just playing, just staying focused and playing her, and not letting her get into a flow of the game. Because when she gets into a flow, when she gets into the flow, she's a really good player. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye, Congratulations. Guys.